Okay, so here's another problem that's going to be highlighting the, the chain rule. In the chain rule, we talked about that earlier. It's written up here. And it's another one we want to break this up and find the f of u and your u for this one. Now, looking at this, the first instinct you might have would be to get common denominators and put it together as a single fraction. Yes, you could do that, but what's going to happen is you're going to have to do derivative of the outside, but then when you do the derivative of the inside, that's going to involve a quotient rule and it's going to be more complicated to do it that way. So instead, let's rewrite it, um, writing it this way with negative exponents. I'm going to do x, 1 6, x to negative 1, and this is minus a 1 6 x, and then I have a 6 on the outside. So I'm going to write it this way instead. Let's identify the u and the f of u. The u is the part that we have on the inside. So in this case, my u is 1 6 x to negative 1 minus 1 6 x. That's my, the u. The u, again, is always going to be something that's inside parentheses, usually what you have, or it might be inside a square root or inside a trig function, something like that that's inside. That's your u. Next, we want to find f of u. Okay, so f of u, or again, you could write this as y equals. Okay, if I take out all this and replace it with, with u, this is what I get. I get just that, u to the sixth power. All this inside got replaced with the u. So these are your two original definitions that they're asking for. Now that we have this, we're ready to apply the chain rule to find dy dx. dy dx and it's also the same notation as y primed. All right, dy dx is, so first, we gotta follow the chain rule formula, f primed of u. Here it is, that's, that's my f of u. Derivative would be six u to the fifth. We just applied the power rule for the outside. Next, we need to multiply this by the derivative of u. So I need to do this using power rule. Okay, so negative 1 comes down, it's negative 1 6 x to the negative 2. Subtract 1 from the exponent when you do the power rule. I got minus this one here, I'm just going to end up with 1 6 left over. So I've done the chain rule, and now I'm ready to simplify it to get my answer. When I write my answer, I don't want to write my answer in terms of u's, I want to actually plug the u back in here. So I have a 6, I have this right here, and because we're done taking the derivative, it's okay to write it back in the original form, so I'm just going to write it back this way without the negative exponents. So I'll write it that way, that takes care of the, this is fifth power, that takes care of the first part there. Then I have the rest of this, so the rest of that, I'm going to write, rewrite this uh, with positive exponents. I have negative 1 over 6x squared, and then minus 1 6. Because I have a 6 on the outside, that allows me to clean up my answer a little bit more because the 6 here, if I multiply it through, you can multiply in any order, so I'm going to multiply the 6 inside each of these, distribute it through. So when I do, it'll just basically get rid of the 6 that's there. So dy dx, if I rewrite it, six, the 6 is canceled, so I get negative 1 over x squared, I'll put this part first. Again, it doesn't really matter the order in which you write that, so I'll put this term first. Okay, six wipe that out, and the six over here will cancel that one out too. Then I have minus one, and then what's left over is one over six x minus x over six to the fifth power. So the only other thing that you could do with it, if you wanted to get common denominators here, since we're done working everything through, you certainly could do that, but again, this is okay. Uh, this answer is acceptable as well, so the you know, only other thing, if you, if you did do uh, common denominators, you couldn't really multiply anything through because this is raised to the fifth power, so you can't do any foiling here because of the fifth power, so we'll just leave our answer in that form.